Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Zilliqa. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join. Okay, so let's get into this now. So with Zill, it's actually become very complex in the top end here. This whole zone over here is um has gotten very choppy. So because of that fact, you know, we have to look at this whole move as either a corrective pattern in this top end here or the potential of a diagonal uh, playing out somewhere within this um, towards this end. So we're going to go over some bullish potential and some bearish potential here. So we're going to discuss the um, bearish potential first. Uh, basically, this whole move here could potentially be a corrective structure still. We were looking at this as an overshooting B wave here with this being an A. A B and then looking at a diagonal for a C wave. So this is this is a potential here where we'd look at this as an A wave into here. This would all become a B wave and then actually we'd look for the C wave to the downside. So this C wave, the common zone, if the, the problem is this B wave has actually come quite high now. So we need to be on the lookout for truncation of the C wave and getting a running flat. So this 2970 to this 2772 zone could be an interesting zone um, if we do actually look to break down here. If we're going to get a running flat here, this could be a typical the typical area that it could look to actually push into. And if we do actually get this rather still as an expanding flat, what I'd then be looking for would be the potential of coming down towards this 02, 02606 at the higher end and this 2351 at the low end. So we can see this would be a 0.382 retracement. Technically speaking, this can come down low into this um, support box that we have lower down here, which would be the 50% um, and some of these lower targets. So we just need to be aware that we could see some extension within this move. Um, if we talk about an extension from this point, what we could be looking for, if we just look at this A wave um, in a different way here, that 0.618 of the A wave would actually bring us back down towards this 2311 area as well. So there's quite quite a few indications that, we, that uh, if we're looking for the C wave as an expanding, we could actually look to move down here. Though we would have to overcome this area first and then obviously this, this support line that we currently have here. We'd also have to lose this channel, which seems to be holding quite nicely for the time being. So um, yeah, we need to just be a little bit careful with this. I do think that there is potential that we are still within this looking for a bigger structure where this becomes a wave one, all of this becomes a wave two or B, and then we actually look to push up for that C wave to the upside. So, you know, this is something that can still play out. We need to just also be a little bit cautious because we can argue that, um, you know, potentially we have this as an A, this is a B, and then actually this diagonal here, I haven't actually checked the length of it, but let me just see. If we were going to look at this as a zigzag ending with a diagonal, um, I'd want it to come up a bit higher, actually. Uh, I'd want it to come up towards the 0 0.618 here at this uh, 40 cent, uh, 0 0.0068 uh, for that to uh, apply. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, I don't think it's quite reached enough. If we had to take it from this low here, so it actually has met 0 0.618 from there. So I'm wondering if there's, it is possible. I mean, it's not my preferred count, but uh, instead of looking at this whole move as a, as a corrective move, what we could also argue is that within the structure here, you know, we could look at this potentially as a, you'd have to say, that would then be your one, two, three, four, and a five as a diagonal. Uh, it wouldn't be very neat though, so um, yeah, we're going to have to see whether we get the C wave down here. We've got that target zone to see what happens there. Okay, so basically what I'm looking out for is is the possibility that we could actually look to complete into this high because we were, were talking previously um, about the potential that we could be looking for a fourth wave move here, and this would actually be the rejection box for that, which would be this as a, uh, this 2919 that this 4337 would be a 0 0.382 retracement and then uh, and then this higher range would be this 5953 so you know we've got some structures here which we're interacting with we're interacting with this high here which I was looking at as a fourth and then we've also got this um this area here 
which would be this 4968 if we do move up higher i do think that we could potentially see some resistance around this point so you know we need to just bear in mind if we do move up a little bit higher here we do still have that potential to set a new low here and if we are looking for that fifth wave the target would actually be here at this 1183 to this 00806 so this could be a zone we still actually look to have to come back down into um but yeah we, we'll have to take it uh, one step at a time obviously these things are constantly developing so the other way that i'm looking at this so this is looking at the potential that we could be looking for this um drop to the downside we also talked about the fact that um we could actually look to complete into this low and if we're looking for that more um bullish that more bullish count what we would be looking for would be uh basically something like this so i'm going to go over this this looks quite complicated and i can actually get rid of this this area now i uh, don't need that anymore but effectively what we'd be looking at is the potential that this could be a one or a two or this yeah so one and a two or an a and a b and then we could be looking for this potential to push to the upside here so the actual um the one to one of this of this first five wave move let me just throw this on here Up into this high down into this low here so the actual one-to-one -one would be this 5319 area so that that could be an interesting zone if we do actually move up here like i said this previous this previous high here as well that this 5118 will also be an interesting zone if we do move up so in uh, technically speaking if we wanted to call this an a b and a c that could actually look to bring us up into the zone and would it explain why we're sort of sticking within this channel um if we are going to be looking for a zigzag here they do like to develop within channels so this could be something we could look out for here so basically what we'd be looking out for is if we move to up to this uh, 53 one, one nine would give us a one point a one to one ratio with this first wave here however if we are looking for that bigger bullish potential what we'd be looking for is actually a move up to this eight cent one area um, and then actually looking for an additional fourth and a fifth so how would we get there so the way we would have to argue that we would get there is we'd have to a maintain this zone of this 2637 and this this some um, current correction here we'd have to look at this as a one two three four and a five as a diagonal into this point and we'd have to then argue that um we would be looking for this as a wave two to the downside here so at the moment that one to one would actually bring us something's gone horribly wrong there so that one to one would only bring us back down here to a uh to just over the just just by this channel line we'd typically be looking for a deeper retracement than that this 50 percent actually brings us here at this uh 3115 area so i'd be looking for this to potentially extend to the downside here if it fails to do so and we do continue to push up here what I would be on the lookout for for the potential of extension would be off of this move that we currently have here. Um, a move past this 4054. If we do start to move past this 4054, then potentially we need to change how we're counting this move. Um, or we've have had a really small uh, wave two here, which doesn't doesn't it's not very likely. Um, but you know, for the most part, if we do start to push up past this 4054. What we can start arguing is that you know we've got an additional one and a two here looking for a three four and a five and then that could cause us to count this as an additional one two one two and then basically that would mean a bigger extension to the upside which would be looking to um target up higher into this channel line uh, if we had to say that that was taking place and we were getting further extension yeah we you know then we start we'd have to start taking into account these other waves here and we'd start to actually get a quite a bigger quite a lot bigger move here than uh, we are currently looking at so you know these are the key areas if we want to maintain this potential for a bullish standpoint what we'd want to see is actually maintaining the support zone here we can see that this would actually take us out the channel and my fear is here that if we do lose this channel that potentially what we could see is a move out and then we come back in retest it and then actually look to break down again and start to form like five wave structure or something to the downside which would be looking for that potential of that um, corrective move so th this is something that we need to just keep an eye on um, 
really if we lose this 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 8, 0, 2, you know, then we start to lose that potential for this bigger um, bullish structure that we currently sort of looking at here. Uh, if we lose this wave too high here, this 02637, what I'd be looking out for then is, like I said to you, those, um, those other potentials that we could be looking for, this to have been extending out as a deeper, as a bigger wave two here, or a bigger B wave here, whichever way you want to look at it for the time being. Um, basically, then we could be looking for that bigger push to the upside. But until we actually get that, we need to just, just be careful. We do have that potential to push to the downside. Uh, there's nothing really to go off, um, off the current structure at the moment. This just looks like a corrective move down. So I would say that potentially we could move up here, uh, but this could also just be a flat. Uh, so if we, if we do start to move down past this 3066, what I would be looking out for here is that we could see something like this as a one, two as a flat, we get a third wave here, a fourth and a fifth to the downside. And then if we do get a single five wave move like this, it would become more likely that, um, well, we'd have to, yeah, it would be more likely that we're actually going to get a rejection again. So that's what we'd be looking out for. Dropping down past this 30, 30, 03066, that would be a zone that would potentially mean we have an impulsive structure here to the downside where this becomes a one, two, three, four, five. And then we'd be looking for that uh, possibility of coming back up for a B wave, potentially retesting this and coming back down one more time. So we can see that this would potentially look to actually retest the lower range of this box area. And uh, I have got these lines still drawn on here previously. It could actually mean that we actually come back and test this zone as well. Uh, but we are actually holding above currently that previous diagonal uh, resistance that we had. So it'd be interesting to see whether we can find support on this and move away and then actually look to push to the upside or whether we actually start to break down here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. Unfortunately, um, the moves are very choppy at the moment, so we still do have that potential to break down. What we need to see is um, if we manage to find support here, or if actually we just start to progress up. If we just start to progress up, then potentially, like I said, we're starting, we could be um, starting a bigger five wave move here where we're looking to target out into this range higher up of this channel. Uh, but ideally I'd like to see a bit more of a retracement. So until we actually do break significantly above this high, I would still be on the lookout that uh, we would be coming down here one more time to potentially retest this or retest this channel even. Um, that's something else we need to keep an eye on. Okay, everyone, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join. Once you're in the general chat area, just add mention a member of staff. We'll be happy to help you out with anything you may need. Also, in the description, you'll find affiliate links for Bybit and PrimeXBT, both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. Um, check it out. If you don't have an account, using the affiliate link does help support the channel, and we do appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.